an amazing breakthrough. Alzheimer's plaque has been cleared from the brains of mice using nothing but light and sound. Scientists reveal how this is done. Strobe lights and a low-pitched buzz can be used to recreate brain waves lost by the disease. And you can look at the image of the mouse brain. The left is with the treatment and the right, as you can see, is all cut up, is without the treatment. This is by Manuel Garcia Aguilar on The Mind Unleashed. In previous articles, we discuss the importance of brain waves in modern technology developments. It even seems like something magical to me when I was writing about how through brain waves and AI, scientists can see what you're seeing in real time. Now even more progress is being made thanks to neuroscientists at MIT. So far, there is no cure for Alzheimer's, despite rapid growth in the number of people living with the disease. It's estimated that around 44 million people around the world suffer from this condition or a related form of dementia. In the U.S., an estimated 5.5 million people having Alzheimer's disease. It's also the sixth leading cause of death in the U.S., killing even more people than breast and prostate cancer combined. Even though a few drugs temporarily manage certain cognitive symptoms of the illness, none of them can stop Alzheimer's progression. Virtually all new treatments have failed in clinical trials. We really don't have much to offer people, says Shannon McCauley, neuroscientist at Wake Forest School for Medicine. This new research basically works with imitating the healthy rhythmic patterns or brain waves that operate at different frequencies. Gamma brain waves oscillate at roughly 30 to 100 hertz and are associated with higher order cognitive functions. And they are also known to dis decrease in the brains of people suffering from Alzheimer's. A previous study showed that flashing light 40 times a second into the eyes of mice treated their Alzheimer's disease. If this was not amazing enough, researchers also added sound of a similar frequency, and this dramatically improved the results. In a way, we could be talking of healing frequencies. Some alternative therapies and medicine may not sound so crazy now, right? This non-invasive treatment also greatly reduced the number of amyloid plaques found in the brains of these mice. Plaques were cleared in large swaths of the brain, including areas critical for cognitive functions such as learning and memory. Quote, when we combine visual and auditory stimulation for a week, we see the engagement of the prefrontal cortex and a very dramatic reduction of amyloid, end quote, said Li Huai Tsai, one of the researchers from MIT's Pai Kauer Institute for Learning and Memory. Another fact to consider is that the researchers found that if they treated the mice for one week, then waited another week to perform the tests, many of the positive effects had faded, suggesting that the treatment would need to be given continuously to maintain the benefits. So I used a frequency range around 40 hertz, a sound only just high enough for humans to hear, and is a side effect, quote unquote. As a side effect, it also helped clear the nearby hippocampus an area, uh, important area of the brain associated with memory. After treatment, mice exposed to this therapy perform better in a range of cognitive tasks. Findings show an overall neuroprotective effect, even in the later stages of neurodegeneration, the researchers reported. Though there are important differences among species, there is reason to be optimistic that these methods can provide useful interventions for humans according to Nancy Koppel, a professor of mathematics and statistics at Boston University. And while further research is needed, and a few numbers to understand, such as 40, the frequency that is creating a profound impact in mice, this is encouraging news to finally have an effective treatment for all stages of Alzheimer's disease. Amazing. This is by uh, Manuel Garcia Aguilar on The Mind Unleashed. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.